Hi guys, so I'm finally getting around to testing out the new Tentbox XL that I purchased a couple of weeks ago. Obviously, if you've seen my review video, this is the first time I'm actually going to be camping out on it. Now, I've actually booked a campsite that's not too far from where I live, just in case anything goes wrong. Fingers crossed it won't. So it's just a little place in Oundle that I found on pitchup.com. It's actually got a little river that runs alongside of it and uh, you can actually fish there. Now, I wanted to get back into doing a little bit of fishing now for quite a while. Uh, my son's just recently got into it. So uh, I thought, why not take our rods along and have a little go at that? So yeah, it's been a while. So hopefully that goes okay. Um, I've got a nice meal planned for the evening and uh, hopefully it'll be a nice chilled out first time experience using the 10 box. So without any further ado guys, let's get cracking. Uh, right, yeah, so we just turned up here. There's a really nice reception. Um, pretty much you can park anywhere you want. Um, so we've just tried to find somewhere uh, half decent that was not too far from the water, but it's an absolutely lovely view. So let's get out, let's get this tent set up and uh, let's get a drink. I notice in most of my videos, it always revolves around me ending up needing to get a drink. I think that's just the way life is at the minute. Today's gonna be a good day. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every difference. I'm done. do us so we've got one of these undone we've got the side undone we'll let get some ventilation here feels pretty steady what's that creaking sound let's get both of these undone actually right so that's us all pretty much set up just got the stuff to get out of the boot of the car like the uh the hob and everything like that but we get that done a little bit later um so basically it's a little bit uneven here so the tent is slightly off kilter but um it's not too bad we're trying to find the most even spot uh, that we could but the views are absolutely amazing around here so um i'm gonna get this bed in all put in here then uh have a little well then get a drink and i'm gonna have a look around so uh it's coming on to about 20 to 5 now the sun's shining it's lovely and hot and i need a drink So this is our nice cozy little setup for tonight. There's actually three of us sleeping in here, so uh, it'd be a good test for it. See there's plenty of room. But I'm gonna get this put up and then I'm gonna have a look around. Right. So a little tip when you uh, pack your 10 litres of water in the back of your car, or just to make sure that nothing actually hits that, otherwise you could end up with uh, nine litres of water in the back of your boot, which is what I have. So luckily there's water here, so uh, I'm gonna have to trek and uh, fill this up again in a minute. But um, you know, you learn as you go. Well, I found where most of the water went. Oh, great, now listen.
just having a little lay in the tent box earlier and it's proper comfortable. So I'm hoping we can get a really good night's sleep in that later. Mind you, I think the amount of Jack Daniels I'm planning on drinking will also help me get to sleep. So I think I'm definitely gonna have to do a bit more practice with the old uh, fishing. We've not caught anything, but at least I know back at the base we've got uh, some steaks waiting in that cool box for me. So uh, no fish today for us, but we keep trying. We're gonna fish probably for another half hour, but it's just been nice to spend a bit of time with my son just down by the river. Getting on now, so I'm getting quite hungry. Just gonna go back, have another drink, make some food. Right, so we're back, I've had a few drinks and I suppose we better get cooking now. So uh, we're gonna get everything cut up and uh, get these steaks on the Eco Barbecue and hopefully they'll be able to cook them okay. And uh, let's get the pasta going because I've had a few too many to drink and I can't string a sentence. No change to normal. Okay, so it's supposed to be ready in five minutes. Um, obviously there's no iron or aluminium in it uh, and it's supposed to reduce CO2 emissions. So, uh, you know, check it out. Eco barbecue. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just saw it and it was like five quid. And uh, my friend who I was out with at the time said I should grab one and uh, do a little review. So we'll see what this is like. So we should be able to um, grill within five minutes. Um, and uh, it approximately you can use it for about 60 minutes. So we'll see how that goes. It's all natural materials. So um, again, we're trying to save the planet and being outdoors is caring about the outdoors. So um, I'm going to cut steaks on this and then I'm going to do the pasta on the gas hob. Well, obviously, you're going to lay pasta over yourself here and cook it. Anything else to say about this? No, not really. It was made by the Danish, so they always make good stuff, don't they? Did they make the flat pack furniture, the Danish people? Or was it Swedish? Ah, uh, yeah, the meatballs. All right, anyway, let's get on with this. So I guess you just open it. Oh, the assembly instructions are inside, so let's just get it open, set it up. Okay, so this is pretty cool. It's all made out of like, uh, all made out of wood. And it's got some cardboard legs on it, so. I think that's the grill. These are the legs. Instructions for it. And that's the actual uh, barbecue itself. Looks pretty cool, to be fair. I mean, we probably don't need this because we're actually putting it on top of the barbecue, so. I'll see how secure it is. Let's just do it. That's the base. And I guess it just sits. Okay, so you pull these little pull these little tabs out on the side here. I'll get the fingers out. Do you know what solid? Let's just do it in the outdoors way. We're just gonna stick this straight on top of that grill. That's where that's going. All right, so I've pulled these little nibs out and then that's just gonna sit on there like that. Like that. Okay. Apparently, you just like these little discs. Damn, that's not good. Don't, uh, don't copy me. I'm not a smart man. Okay, we'll see if that helps it get going because I'm not convinced. I mean, it's smoking a bit, but it's not really doing anything. Just, uh, let's see if this helps. Look at that. Yeah, Lee Outdoors way. 
don't do what I do or don't copy anything I do it's not sensible but it works quick light yeah I don't know about that it doesn't feel mega hot so I'm not really too impressed with that I think I'll uh, it should be able to cook the steaks okay just to get them finished off hopefully by the time the pasta's done um, the steaks will be ready to be cut up and put in and I'll just mix it all together and make a sauce out of that so uh, we'll see how it goes I'm glad I didn't bring chicken to cook on that thing I wouldn't have trusted that at all Okay, so I forgot the pesto. So it looks like it's just going to be a creamy mushroom uh, steak pasta thing. It might be okay. kind of done some of the edges are still a bit pink but I don't mind that let's, let's just see if we can make a bit of room and we get the uh, tomatoes cooking on there if I can find them there we go so I managed to cobble together this meal. I'm gonna eat this up now and I'll see you guys a bit before we go to bed. This is 100% one of the worst meals I've ever cooked. It's my own fault. I should have remembered to put the pesto in. Um, We're gonna try and swallow this down. And uh, don't try this recipe, it's horrible. Campfires make everything better. Okay, so you can just about see this, but I picked up a Rocket Lolly uh, Northern Monk Ale earlier. Uh, I'm gonna give this a try and see what it's like. Wonder if it does taste like the older uh, Rocket Lolly. Probably can't see this as well, but the moon looks absolutely awesome. It's like a bright red moon. It's massive, um, but the camera's just not picking it up properly. Anyway, let's try some of this. It does smell like a rocket lolly. Actually, that does, that is quite good. That's quite a uh, subtle, but uh, it's like a watered down rocket lolly mixed with ale. Not bad. Anyway, I'm going to finish this up guys and then I'm going to get cosy up in bed after a little while of sitting by this fire and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Red. Oh. Just look, look, red that side. I can't remember side. what colour I am. You don't need to remember, red that side. Yeah, that okay, side. I'm red so. morning guys so yeah that was a pretty successful first night in the tent box uh, pretty comfortable no, I suppose it just takes a little bit of getting used to uh, just with a little bit of movement when there's three of us in here so it's rocking around a little bit as everyone sort of moved in the night but that wasn't it wasn't too bad to be fair um got a little bit chilly around about sort of three half three um but uh, yeah, other than that, I'm pretty comfortable. Um, I'm gonna get up now. I'm gonna make some coffee and some bacon. And then we gotta get packed up and uh, get back home. So I'll see you guys in a bit.
So thanks for watching today's video, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, if you're not outside, get outside.